Okay guys, so I'm back here. I'm downtown Tarana today. I came out here today to take over this job that this previous contractor was doing. Here he's installing some, some limestone. You see here there was, you see it's not level here. Even if you come around this side, a little bit of bump there. It's on even here as well. So we're gonna remove all of this that is already installed and we're gonna go ahead and start to install new, new stone onto the wall. Okay, so the wall itself is already waterproof. As you see, it's water seal. So we're just gonna put some shield guard over it just to help to take some moisture off the wall and install our cement board. We're not gonna go back to and waterproof the, the scene. That's what the, the contractor here who hire why is me want me to do here so we're just gonna go ahead prepare up start take you guys step by step of how to do something like this if this is something that you're interested of learning how to do so no further ado let's dive right into the video but before we jump into the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed for more point video like this one let's get started okay as you see we have here you see this is not level with this one over here right here is not the same the height here is not the same probably the stone is not it's a little bit faulty the pattern we're gonna change the pattern as well all right let's dive into it all right guys so we're gonna start by removing removing these uh, so we'll remove that one just gonna go ahead and remove this one as well Oh, that was easy. Wow. It was easier than I thought. It's easier than I thought, guys. This is way easier than I thought. I don't know about this mother, man. We're gonna measure our stone. So first I'm gonna measure my full stone. My full stone here is 23 inches and seven eighths. Okay guys, so we change up our pattern a little bit, change out the layout a little bit. One of the most important thing you want to do, you want to make sure that you're nice and square. So you want to check for square, you want to check for leveling, make sure that she's level, 100% level, right through. You want to make sure that all of them is touching onto each other like so, running all the way through. Yeah, so this is the layout we're going to work with, so now here I'm just gonna measure catch the center of this stone and I'm gonna cut this one go around here afterwards we're gonna go with a full one right in the center of this one and afterwards we're gonna have a small piece go right here that's the layout we're working with right now so this is the piece that we're gonna put right here this is the one that we're gonna go with right here now and then after we're gonna go with a full one some space all right listen see as you see this one here i leave it right in the center that way i can join the other one that's gonna go Make sure that she's nice and plumb this way. Make sure she's plumb as we go up. Should be level. I'm still gonna go back and check. We're going with a quarter in space. But you see right here, I leave my spacer right in the middle of this one so we can continue on with our stone. Can have the same joint as we go up. I 
can get a a niche shoulder and if you, you want to level it off just like you see I'm doing it here now we're gonna go ahead and install this one before we install it we want to get a spacer and put it right in the center in the middle of where the two stones are gonna be joining now we're just gonna slap this boy in place remember we need a quarter inch space so we're gonna leave a quarter inch space we need to take a measurement from here for the piece that's gonna cut here which is 8 inches we're gonna cut 8 inches now so we have two cut we have a cut that we use the machine to cut you want to turn that cut inwards here and we're going to turn the factory part to the hand here which is the finishing edge just like you see i'm doing here Guys, you want to wet your stone first. If you have some, you can use a piece of sponge to kind of wash it down, wet it down a little bit. Before you go ahead and apply your mortar onto it. Look there, it's supposed to be a hundred percent square. Uh, Look at it guys, it has to be perfect man. Okay guys, well this is where we are now. Bring up this side, come all the way over here. I'm just gonna plumb down this one right down. That way we can continue to make sure that we have this side here line up with that side that's gonna go right, right up. This is where this side finish. We want to get ready to do our joints now. Yeah, corner is nice and straight. You see we maintain our band, go all the way up. Now we're gonna work our way. From here, we're gonna bring this side up. As you see, we have our temporary ledge there. We're gonna work our way, come right around here. We're gonna finish it off right in the corner there. Okay guys, so what I'm doing right now, I'm just plumbing it up from right there, maintain the same plumb mark. Just trying to get the straightness from this one that's up there. Mark it right onto here. Come all the way down. Just gonna transfer this mark. It should be the same size as the one that we have over the other side of the garage. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put our stone right in here. And this way we can measure right down here because we're gonna have a corner stone that's gonna go right here as well. Three and a half. One, three and a half inches. So it's gonna be around here. We need to transfer this plumb mark all the way down. So 
we're gonna have a piece over here and we're gonna have a piece over there we're gonna have okay so we're gonna cut a three and a half so most of them small pieces i can recut use back So right now I'm just trying to measure from the top, go all the way down, so that way we can make our cut down below here. Hold on. So right now I'm just setting up the ledge, so that way we can we can lay our stone right onto this ledge here and maintain this. Now we have our level right here. We need to take our measurement. Okay, so now we're gonna cut it five and three quarter. Okay guys, so meanwhile, I'm setting up this section here. Sanjay here gonna install some mortar into the joint. So that way we can do the joint and stuff. So. Enjoy that section of the video. Soon you guys are gonna come back over to me. I don't know, it will it look, you know, like I go down. You see, it look fine. Let me show you something. It will look right there, so now. Look like I just see head alone and I squeeze in. And I will like so it's supposed to be. I say it will, it's supposed to be. We are squeezy right there, so none of them and something I don't feel properly. Just by how you see, it's supposed to go from the back. Feel from the back, that means uh, it will come out. You see, they, this alone tells us how you feel and it will overfill. None of them the way you're doing a full. Uh, push your slicker in one and, and, and see, just pluck out here and look through. Apply your mortar onto it. About quarter to half an inch coverage of mortar. One and a half onto a stone. I need a line for run from over that the one they come right over here so we save them line up. So here we have one, we're just gonna wet him down. Apply your mother onto it. You know what? Before we apply your mother, let's put it there. Try it out before, because you know it's a cut stone, so you wanna check this. Oh, it's not it. It's a good thing I try. Uh, this way did cut? Yeah. Five and three quarter. Measure five and three quarter. Get a straight edge. Cut this too, and then after already cut that out. Okay, so I'm gonna get a long piece of wood. We're just gonna sit it, make sure that it's sitting level with the... So th this stone here is plumb. So we're trying to plumb that stone up there with the one down below. So it's telling me that I need to go in a little bit. Right here is not too bad. Let me just check this one down here. Afterwards, Yeah, bang it in. We need to plumb this up and then we're gonna check again one more time. This one telling me the, the, the top wanna go in. Beautiful. Beautiful. So this is fine here. 
we're gonna fix this one after you know what let me just fix it right now need to raise that up but before we do that we're going to check again to make sure that this one is 100 percent from that way once we get up to the top we have both of them wow look at that guys so it's 100 percent plumb now we want to square it with the existing one we want to square it with that side over there bring it the square from there come over here so we're just going to run a string line from over there come all the way over this side pull it on the wall make sure that it's lined up with this side good look at the end this end over here this end look up that end i touch it huh okay i'm gonna bring me some black after me i make some mark you know six and three quarter Have some quarter in space so that's the giants that we're, we're, we're using as we go up we just want to plumb it make sure that it's it's plumb 100 percent go all the way up here you want to check for plumb as well now that we have this one we're just going to put a quarter in space right here take a measurement from the hedge of this one go all the way up which is 20 inches so the piece that's going to go there it's 20 inches Okay, so now that we have here we have a spacer this spacer here is sitting right in the in the half of that that other one The way you want to plumb it, you want to make sure that your city level flush on the bottom stone because that's where you're taking your lever from. So you want to make sure that it sits low down on the bottom of the stone that you're trying to level offer. We're going up with a quarter inch joint space. So each time we go up, we want to put a spacer. Here I have some spacer. These spacers is quarter inch thick. These are the spaces that we're planning to use to maintain the size of the joints go all the way up. Just put in my level here just to make sure that it's nice and plumb. I want to maintain that as we go up as well. very important to maintain the plumb as you go up so as you go up you want to check you also want to check to make sure that here is plumb I'm gonna run our level across just to make sure that this one is in line with this one here it's a small piece so I want to make sure that it's in line I want to go ahead and put some mortar there and guys if you're getting value from this video so far go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed for more upcoming videos like this one.
Yeah. Call the five star general. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to my toes so that way I can catch it with the drop water. when you're using federal white if you don't in most cases you're probably gonna have some 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 joints that has crack you probably notice that you have some joint that have a little bit of crack in them that's just because um just because you don't finish and we're gonna go ahead and see if we're gonna get a broom we're gonna go over with our broom and broom it off just like you see I'm doing here.
And there you have it, guys. Hope you get value from this video. If you do get value from this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already subscribed for more upcoming videos like this one. Thank you for watching as always. And I'll see you in the next one.